Hi everyone, this is Lisa Marie from Artistry by Lisa Marie. Welcome to the studio. Today I am going to very quickly show you how to draw hair, specifically straight hair, uh, because there's lots of ways to draw hair and sometimes people get a little intimidated by it. So I am going to go for some nice straightforward hair here so people can sort of see one way to draw hair. Uh, I'm just going to outline a face real quickly here. So this is just a quick sketch of a face. So we have a head to draw the hair on. That's always good. So there's a bit of a face out or a head outline. So we're going to draw real quick. Just get so there's nose. There's mouth. There's an eye. There's an eye. Yeah, real quick there. There's a face. Look at that. Give us some eyebrows. Okay. So, look at that. We have a face. Now I know it's not the fanciest face, but the focus is the hair. So, this was just a quick sketch. Give us some eyelashes if you want. Look at that. Um, quick sketch so we have a head to work around. Uh, now, for straight hair, uh, one way to think about it is sections. So say you want her to have bangs. You can just block out that section of where you want her to have bangs. Maybe she's going to have bangs that go above the eyebrows. That's why we have the eyebrow line. So you can always decide if you want the hair to go over the eyebrows, above the eyebrows, but there you go. So there's a section. Next, um, straight hair, you have lots of options depending on how her hair, you know, is styled or cut. But again, you're going to be going in sections. So say she has a center part. Okay. So right away, two sections happening right there. And say she's going to have hair maybe layered a little bit around her face. So here is a section of hair around her face. And when you do this sort of look with layering sections that are going to be slowly, maybe a bit longer than others, you can think of this shape as a, a long triangle or an icicle. So it's long and a bit more straight. And she's going to have a symmetrical, sort of symmetrical hair cut. So again, another icicle, you could say, right there. And it curves around her head up top. The top of your head is round, so the hair would go around the head. But you could have another section or icicle there going down. Another section or icicle, you could say, icicle shape. This is just to give you an idea of what the shape is. So this is straight hair. Uh, it could be any length you want, any style you want, but this is just a straightforward, say, straight hair. This is a way for you to block out the hair. Her hair would also be falling back here. Um, so you can imagine more icicles would be forming back behind her back here, but you don't have to draw them because they're behind her. You could have more hair or sections falling straight down. She has very straight hair. She used a hair straightener today. So now you have her hair. Look at that. We've got shoulders and everything. Uh, hair straight and blocked out. So now you go, okay, well, that looks kind of weird. It looks kind of boring, kind of bland. Uh, hair doesn't really look like that. So now we're going to add a little bit of texture. And for that, you just have to sort of figure out a light source. So you can add shading and shadows because texture in hair comes from the shading and the shadows in the hair. Uh, so we'll say, here's a nice lamp we got going on here. There's a light source for us right there. Phew, the light's coming from that direction. So that means the shadow would be on this side. So one way to draw with a pencil straight hair is to draw the strands. I wanted her bangs down a little bit, so I'm going to take my eraser and just 
do that. Um, if you want more texture, you don't want perfectly cut straight hair, this is where you can do little zigzag lines. Right where her hair ends. And this will feed into that texture that we're gonna do. You can go up, you can go down, more zigzag lines, up, down. But now you see the icicles, those shapes are going up instead of pointing down. A little zigzag for the ends of the hair. And you can do that down here. Imagine just little zigzags, zigzags. Zigzag the tips or the ends of the hair. And now you have hair texture. And then you remember your lights coming from this direction. You have the zigzags. You can slowly start adding lines that will go in the direction of the hair growth. But wherever there would be shadow, where the light wouldn't reach the hair, that's where you're gonna have some more lines. So the here's a section. This side is gonna have more shadow than this side. So just draw some more lines on that side. You'd have a few straight lines going over there. This big section right here, you'd have more lines so you're doing just lines, up and down, straightforward lines on this side of that section of hair. The bottom of the hair, this bottom part right here, that's going to be more in the shadow than this upper part. This would have more shadow. Back here, her head's in the way, so there would be a cast shadow, her head would cast a shadow onto her hair and all this back here would probably be more in shadow. Again, this isn't the most fancy way to draw hair. This isn't the most extravagant hair, but it is a straightforward way to get started sketching hair. If you've never sketched hair before, this is a very easy approach. So this section of hair, the light would hit it more on this side, less on this side, so more lines over here. Same back here, all this would be in shadow, so draw some lines. Down here would be more in shadow than up here, so we'll draw up and down, straightforward lines. This section back here would be way more in shadow. So there you have some straight forward quick sketch shading, but I mean, it still looks a bit rough. It still looks, you know, just very, very uh, one dimensional almost. You can soften it, take a paintbrush and just brush right over the hair with your paintbrush. What's that gonna do? It's gonna soften the graphite on the paper itself. So now you're still gonna have the pencil marks that you've been putting on paper this whole time, but now it's gonna be a lot softer. And now we can play a little bit more. So we have a base, we have an underdrawing of hair here, but now we can have a little more fun. Cause not all, shadow is the same. There's dark, medium, and light for a nice gray scale or range of grays within a black and white drawing. Same with hair. Uh, so we could have maybe the over here, it would be a lot darker, especially on this side where her head is. So we can really go to town, putting some nice darker lines right in there can also on this side of her head, probably be a lot lighter than this side of her head. Go ahead, a lot darker. And doesn't have to be perfect, it's hair, it flows. Each strand of hair is individual, it's unique. This side, maybe a bit darker 
over this side of her bangs probably be bark darker than that side of her bangs. So, put some darker lines that go with the growth of the hair. Remember, the hair is growing out of her head, coming down. Out of her head, coming down. So those lines, those pencil lines, are going to follow the pattern of hair growth that's already happening. Coming out of her head, going down. And we're just going to follow that. Here, this would be darker. So that center part, this line right here would be a little bit lighter. Back here would be way darker than up here. So again, add some more pencil lines. This is just a quick sketch. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're not going for extreme realism. This is just to give you an idea of hair. How hair grows, how hair looks, how to quickly sketch hair. Again, you can go back with your paintbrush or a blender. You can use a pencil blender. There's all different tools available. And I'll put links to everything I'm using today in the video description for you if you want to add to your art studio. Uh, but now I'm just going and I'm softening all this. She has a very uh, pointy chin. Okay. <laughs> I drew her very fast. So now you're thinking, okay, well, now it looks darker and all that, and it's definitely straight hair, but it still doesn't have that pop. It still doesn't have that nice texture and bit of realism to it. Well, that's where your eraser comes in. This is a Mono Zero eraser. You can also use a rubber or kneaded eraser. Kneaded eraser, you can just make it any shape you want. You can knead it. That's also very useful. So what you're going to do is you added some layers of shadow. Now you're going to add some highlights. Again, you know where your light's coming from. And with this, you're going to add texture. So you're still acting like this is a pencil almost. And you're going to go with the flow of the hair to make texture. And you're going to make lines, just simple, thin, easy lines that go around the top of the head and down, just like hair gets pulled down by gravity, lines that follow the flow of the hair. And this part, remember this center part? Well, this side is going to be in shadow. This side would be a little bit lighter because of the way the light hits it. So we can do a few more highlights over here. And you can add a little bit of highlighted texture to her hair with just a nice thin eraser. And if you hear that dinging, that is my phone. Yes, I know it's a faux pas to have your phone on when filming, but I am a mom and my kids are currently at a play date and I always keep my phone on when my children are away just in case they need me for anything. I'm a mom 24 seven. Okay. So again, now we have, I just sweep away the eraser bits with a different paintbrush. So. Now you have a little bit of hair, but you're going to go, oh my gosh, it still doesn't have really that much volume, that much movement to it. It is just straight falling hair. And some people's hair really is just very straight. Uh, but if you want to add a little bit more to it, that's where you go back with your pencil. Uh, this is a graph gear pencil, uh, very versatile, works a ton. This is where you start to add some real dark individual strands of hair. We already had the sections. We know the way the hair is flowing. We've figured out or mapped out all those shadows. Now we're going to give her some nice darker accents of some of the shadows. We're going to add some texture lines. And you can do that. Wherever the hair is a little bit darker, 
just add some nice texture lines. Don't have to go super dark, super fast if you don't want to. Nice light sweeps of pencil will work. But now you can also have stray hand strands of hair. So instead of just these sections that we've already blocked out, you can give her stray bits of hair. Because even straight hair, you know, flows. It goes different directions. You can give her strands of hair that go into her face a bit more. Over on this side, some of her hair can go into her face a bit more. This is very straight hair. Uh, I'll do wavy hair and curly hair another time, but this is just the straightforward she used an, a, a hair straightener this morning hair so you could have some straight strands there down here really darken it around here and this is where you can also have a bit more fun so we have the sections of hair which obviously we mapped out but now you could have some just extra sections of hair coming down. Because, again, remember, hair doesn't just stay in clumped sections in a drawing. We want a little bit more movement. And maybe her hair is straight, but, you know, it still moves. So now her hair, straight as, as it is, is getting a little sense of movement and you can do some stray strands of hair here especially towards the ends you can have a lot more strands of hair kind of having a mind of their own and popping out a bit more and you can always go back if you feel like oh my gosh it's just too sketchy the pencil marks are just so heavy go back with your paintbrush and soften all of those pencil lines. It's absolutely okay to go back, use all your tools, soften the whole thing. And now we're really getting dark, medium, and light lighting in this. You can, don't have to worry about sticking with those individual strands. You can soften the whole thing if you want to. Then go back with your eraser. Again, we're going in a bit of a cycle here. And you're going to add some nice lighter highlights right where the light would really be hitting her head the most. So up here top of the head she's going to have some more highlights you can add more texture lines more lighting hitting on this side of the head so add more texture lines and even though the hair is straight you don't have to stick strictly to straight lines so with this eraser you can go over a little bit go off to one side Maybe her hair is straight, but you know, this section, I don't know, had a little attitude today. So I decided to go at a little bit of an angle. And by doing that, by adding those stray hairs, you also add a little bit of movement to the hair and a little bit more realism. Because no matter how straight the hair is, you know, those individual strands are still going to move around. They're still going to do their own thing sometimes. And you can press harder with the eraser if you really want to get some brighter highlights in certain areas.
If that looks too rough or you think the eraser marks just aren't blending quite well, just go back with your blender. Whether it's a paintbrush or another type of pencil blender that you use. And you can soften it. Soften those eraser marks, soften the pencil marks. Add some more texture lines, just go slow. And you can always go back, add a bit more texture. Even in the very brightest part, you can add a few gentle pencil lines if you want to. Make sure you keep that texture going. You can feel the movement of the hair. And this is, again, remember, just simple, easy, straightforward, quick sketch of hair. Uh, a lot of people get intimidated by hair. They think, oh my gosh, there's just so many strands of hair. Um, start with those sections. Block out where the shadows are. And then just slowly add texture. Add highlights with your eraser. And that is just a very quick and easy way to draw hair, to sketch hair. Uh, you can get way more advanced than this, obviously. You can really go to town adding lots of texture, lots of highlight, tons of movement, but if you just wanna know how to quickly sketch some straightforward hair on someone's head, this is how you do it. Section it out, add some nice shadows, add some lines of highlight, and you have hair. And you can keep going back. Add more strands. And the more individual strands you add, you know, the more personality you're gonna be putting into this hair. As long as you remember where your lighting is coming from, you can just keep on playing with different ways to style hair, different ways to draw the hair. Remember, you can always go back with your pencil. Wherever the light would hit the hair the most, add some nice highlight, some nice brighter lines with your eraser. Don't have to stay within those sections that you drew. You can always go a little bit outside the lines with hair because those are individual strands. So you don't have to follow the lines you originally drew or the sections you originally drew. outside, outside, that section right there, see? You don't have to follow the sections. Once you have the sections done, once you have the lighting done, you can play with it. And there it is. This was just a quick and easy way to draw straight hair, uh, straightforward hair. Um, next time I will get more into texture and more into waves and curls, uh, but this is a good starting point. Thank you so much for joining me in the studio today. Remember to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the next video and stay creative.